When we had last left Andreas, he went to supper, but not where he had originally planned. Indeed, he was now invited to have supper with the brothers of the Abbey and the Baron. And it was there that some rather scandalous takes were heard by brother, by not brother, the Baron Lorenz. Indeed, it pissed off a whole bunch of the brothers and ended with Andreas kind of vaguely siding with the Abbey, but also still being singled out in a peculiar way. On the way back, back to the Gertrude's farm, or the Gertner's farm, to sleep for the night, there was a sighting of a mysterious ghostly figure in the middle of the night. And one of the, like, seers of the local church existed and was talking about murder. What? Oh my god! <laughs> it was like perfect! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> wow, that was not edited at all. Oh my god. It just happened right then. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, well, when next... Or not when next we come back. Jesus fucked me up. Uh, it's time to go find out what's up today. This is Pentiment. Welcome back. <laughs> Holy shit. The timing on that was incredible. Oh my gosh, I had to check and make sure I silenced my phone too. <laughs> it completely just like erased my memory. Oh, Ursula is sad. Because of the storm maybe? Shh, it's alright, Ursula. Good morning. What happened? Good morning, do you need any help with Ursula? What happened? A storm rolled in during the night. It hasn't let up all morning. Clara and I have been doing what we can in here to keep us all from washing away. Peter and Jorg are outside, trying to deal with the flooding as best they can. Oh my, is the farm in danger? I certainly hope everything's alright at the Abbey. Fuck the Abbey, is the farm in danger? There's always danger with this much rain, but we've lived through worse. Whatever happens, it will be as God wills it. We must have faith in providence and endure what is to come. Oh, I have some food for you. Hmm. Thanks. Here, sorry I couldn't prepare anything more. Thank you. Otto wanted me to say hello, by the way. Thank you, I appreciate everything you do. It's sweet. Didn't Otto ask me to say hello? He's probably courting her. Then be a good friend to him, and just tell her. So what? They're not married, are they? Neither are you, yet. Why not test the waters? <laughs> They'd probably be happy together. Otto wanted me to say hello, by the way. Yeah, aren't we, like... We already have, like, plans in a sense, don't we? Otto wanted me to say hello, by the way. Oh, he did? <laughs> hmm. Good. Thank you. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas. Try to stay dry. Thanks. You too. Good luck. Ursula looked less sad about the storm and afraid, and more angry at it. Peter. Andreas? Are you doing alright, Peter? Oh, I didn't see that the wall was broken. Is that from the flood? Some storm, huh? Is it always like this? Is it always like this? Every year, but the last few have been worse. This is the third time I've had to fix a wall this year. This is the way it always is. Rain falls on the abbey and rolls downhill to us little people. Jeez. Holy fuck. Well, it's hard to blame the abbey for that. That's just how rain works. There's a reason we're down here and they're up there, Andreas. Anyway, I have to get back to this. 
See you later. Very fucking good. Okay. Stormy morning. The flood, it says. Oh, shit. How bad is this gonna fucking get? What? Oh, shit. You'll be careful. Okay. Gosh. I don't know. <laughs> It's just like real life. <laughs> all I am is a fucking artist. <laughs> all, I, all I do is make YouTube videos <laughs> as I watch people like scurrying around doing something very important in the moment of distress. <laughs> it's like, fuck, what, what do I do? <laughs> all right. Endress. Look at you, still out here in the middle of it. Hello, Andreas. Oh, wait, no, this is our friend Endress from before. Right, we had, uh, lunch. Good morning, Endress. So, Otto and Ava, huh? Yes, what about them? How is their courtship developing? Doing fine, you think? Come now, tell me juicy details about what's going on between them. How's their courtship developing? Doing fine, you think? I'm not a gossip, Andreas. Otto practically asked me to be his messenger. I'm only trying to understand how things stand. I'm just curious. Otto practically asked me to be his messenger. Did he really? Or did you just assume the part all on your own? You started picking up poor habits during your time in Tassig, Andreas. It can't be the... Gertners. Peter is stern. Maybe the monks talk too much. Well, if you ask me, I think Otto's being a bit too slow about it. Oh? He's old enough already to be smitten like a boy. Not to be smitten like a boy. They both like each other. Seems to me, if you found the right person, you should go for it. It's what I would do. What stopped you? Where is Mistress Schmidtin, if I may ask? Yeah. Where is the mistress? Oh, uh, that's a private matter. You can trust me, Andrus, aren't we friends? I have an intended Sabine waiting for me in Nuremberg. You can trust me, Andrus, aren't we friends? That's what gossipers always say. But we are friends. I can't deny that. I, uh, do hope to find someone to have at my side as we build a family. God has not given me this blessing. Worry not. It could happen at any moment, Endress. It may not be as remarkable as people say. Oh, I'm sorry, Endress. Uh, don't worry. It could happen at any moment. One hopes so. Ah, I must get back to work, Andreas. Enough talk. Until later. Poor Endress. Endress Schmidt Smithy. So much smaller than the one he uses at the Abbey. I haven't seen him at the Abbey, have I? I wonder what he does for the Abbey. Maybe just general metalworking? Oh, look. The flooding is forcing me to go down a certain route. Ah. Oh. The Alban Bakery. Ulrich. Hey there, you two. What's up? God be with you, Andreas. Seems like we have a good spring storm. Though I hope it lets up soon. Good morning. I'm sure it will let up soon. Good morning. It's annoying. I have to walk all the way up to the Abbey in this. Uh... It's annoying. I have to walk all the way up to the Abbey in this. Complaining won't do you any good. Best to endure and have faith in God. Agnes. Oh, Rich, I paid Gret for last week's pumpernickel. Sorry to make you wait for it. It's no trouble at all. Please say hello to Lucky for me. Lucky? Oh. A spectacularly bald old man. Of course. Now I'm off to home. 
and then to the Pfeiffers. Morning, Agnes. What's going on at the Pfeiffers? In this weather? Can't the Pfeiffers wait? Do you really need to? This is pretty bad. Can't they wait? Helena has about a month to go before her child is due. Oh. Her last one was hard. He didn't make it. God rest his soul. Oh, good lord. Yeah, of course. Given the time period. I just want to give her the best chance she can have. It is in God's hands. Trust in providence. Always, Ulrich. But I'll do what I can to help. Why make the Lord do all the work? I must be off now. That was You don't think that was meant to be a reference to a little something something from a certain someone in fucking <laughs> Zion Park. No. Coincidence. Good day to you both. And Andreas, stay out of the rain. Tell Helena I will pray for her health. Until later, Agnes. Yeah, I'll pray for her health. She will appreciate that, Andreas. Thank you. Until later. Until later, Agnes. <laughs> Doesn't he just always look so... so cross? <laughs> Maybe that's just... he's just got a resting, like, face like this, right? Not like, he's just like kind of always brooding. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ulrich. God bless you, Andreas. Oh, he's the baker. Right, of course. The food, yeah. Okay. Hey, kid. Anna. Ah! Ah! Gret? Oh, jeez. Hey, Gret. Andreas! Such a pleasure to see you, and looking so handsome as always. Oh, I kind of like that. Right? I kind of like... <laughs> so long as they're both good to each other and all that, I kind of like the dichotomy of, like, she just has, like, a passive face about her where she always looks very, like, happy to be around or whatever. And he looks so fucking grim all the time. I kind of enjoy that. Back for more of my rye. Dear Gret, you know I can't stay away from your rye. Or, I can't stay away from your rye. I was passing by and thought I should say hello. Now I must say goodbye. Sure. Are you gonna give me some? Some rye? Andreas. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow. Okay. I was passing by and thought I should say hello. Now I must say goodbye. Aren't you a good man? Well, you're always welcome here, Andreas. And always welcome to my rye. Be well. Oh my gosh. Are they not together? Or maybe- I don't know. How does fucking society work? <laughs> okay. See ya, Ulrich. Maybe they're not an item. Can we check over here? The Steinauer house? can go in. Oh, lovely. Oh, we can just go in here. Okay. Cool. And where does this go? North Town. Oh, Pet Shalal. Oh no, you need to get in somewhere. Jeez. Poor kitty cat. Okay. Church and Druckers. Let's go to Northtown real quick. I don't think we've ever been. We'll just take a peek. Oh. Little farm ranch area? Can inspect. More ruins? I wonder if they're from the old Roman colony. Stoltz house. Wow, these houses here look so fucking nice. A plant... Passing is lucky to have so much wound work gro naturally growing. I had to buy it back in Nuremberg. Oh, we've seen that. I guess we had been through here then. Okay. Good.
I wonder if we'll see old what's his butt out here again at the church. Trucker house is closed. Can go check out the mill. Oh, fuck. Hey! It's the spectacularly bald man. Speaking with Thomas. Father, I've said this before, but it isn't good that the water drains here so quickly. It's affecting the foundation. It needs to be looked at. I understand, but if you dig here, you may be disturbing the bodies decomposing in the yard. Of course, Father, but they're going to be dug back up again anyway. Yes, but why disturb them unnecessarily? What the fuck are you hiding, Thomas? This sounds very fucking suspicious. It's your church, Father, but you can't put this off forever. The foundation is going to crack. Is what is what is what? Oh, is this like symbology? Is are we like? Are they saying something? The foundation is going to crack. I understand. Perhaps after some of the bones have been moved to the ossuaries. Uh, thank you, Lucky. Mmm. Ah, good day, Master Mahler. Good day, Father Thomas. Everything all right with the church? I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Everything all right? Oh, yes. Lucky was, again, reminding me of the danger severe rainfall can pose to the Foundation. God looks after his flock, but sometimes the pen requires an earthly hand. It will be taken care of. God be with you, Andreas. And with you, Father Thomas. Until later. I almost wonder if he's too suspicious. You know? And it's like a red herring. I want to go look at the mill. I didn't get to look last time. I was too eager to get to, uh... Or no, I was in a hurry, wasn't I? Glass windows. Probably made in the Low Countries. Wow, fancy. Holy shit. Let's pet this cool dog. Oh. Oh. How many dogs and cats are in this that you can pet? How many have we gotten so far? Should be like a little collection or whatever, right? <laughs> you get, you, Andreas draws like a little picture of each one. This looks like a Dutch windmill. What's what's it doing in Bavaria? Roman ruins. Oh, shit. I know it's kind of a bad day to check for this, but we're not running late as far as I know. Collapsed. This must have allowed access to the aqueduct. Someone's drawn. A child's drawings. I wonder who the artist is. Okay. Let's head on back then. Nothing much else there for us. At least for now. Meadow? Oh, this meadow. Shrine to St. Moritz. Yep, same plants as before. Did we already check here all the way at the church in Druckers? Oh, I did not check the forest. Ooh, what's this? Most of this felling is for the Abbey's renovations and firewood. The town can only gather sticks. Really? It's only- the town is only permitted to gather sticks? Are you shitting me? From any of the nearby forests? Or just the most convenient one? Either way. Meadow, Shrine of St. Satya or Satya. A waterfall? Wow. Dude, I this I'm I would love a fucking like farming life sim game with this kind of art style. Holy shit. Smokey's home. Who's Smokey? Hey. Smokey and Vakslav. What's up, Smokey? Oh, Master Mala! Yes? Say nothing. Yes. We met once before, I think. You were drawing something by the, uh, waterfall. 
I'm Smokey. Well, Adam, but people call me Smokey. You're the charcoal burner. Yes, I remember. You're the charcoal burner. Yes, I have to stay out here in the forest, near the kiln. Is there anything I can do for you? No, just being friendly. Just admiring your home. Out here among the trees seems like a good life. Well, except when it's like storming like a nightmare, I guess. <laughs> Let's say that. Just admiring your home. The charcoal fires tend to wa- Tend to- What? Mask the view a bit. But otherwise, it's not too bad. Was there something you needed? No, just being friendly. Oh, of course. Good to see you. Until next time, Master Baller. Until then. Okay. What's up, Voxlav? Oh, uh, hello? Hello. You're not a local, are you? Um, no. I'm staying in Tassing only briefly. Is Smokey a friend of yours? Why stay out here in the forest? Are you friends with Smokey? No, I mean, I didn't know him before coming to Tassing, but he's let me stay with him. So, yes, I suppose he is. People don't much like Rom... Romney? Most folk despise anything a Romani. Most folk despise anything that's different. I like staying on the edge of town. I search to find whatever is different. It's the differences in an artist's style that makes their work unique. Different is merely different. Not better or worse. Not me. There is something incredible. There is incredible diversity in nature. I find it awe-inspiring. Aw, we should go with the reactivity for sure. Variation comes with dangers, too. I haven't seen you too often. Do you live here? I'm only visiting Tassing as well. My name is Andreas. Andreas Muller. Oh, you're the artist, staying up at the Abbey. It's nice to meet you. Most folk in Tassing don't come down here to talk. Uh, right. I'm Vachlav, a r traveling tinker. I travel from place to place, sharpen knives, mend small things that need mending, that sort of thing. What brought you to Tassing, Vachlav? Do the people of Tassing need much tinkered? I'm something of a craftsman myself. Well, enough for my household, but not to make a vocation of it. Let's go, let's go with this reactivity. I was brought up in it. Tinkering's in my blood. Tinkering and wandering. I can always find a bit of work wherever I end up. I, uh, actually came to see Kersaw's library. I had hoped for one of the monks to read them to me, but... The abbot wouldn't let me in. No one's allowed inside the library except the sisters. I'm not surprised they turned you away. Father Garno is a grumpy old man. I think he has half a mind to throw me out of the scriptorium most days. Let's say that. Garno's kind of a jackass. He does seem like an angry man. He threatened to expel me from Tassing entirely. What were you looking for? Uh, well, I explained I was looking for a text about the elements. Oh? If they're primordial, as Aristotle says, then God didn't create them. They exist with him since the dawn of time. That's a fascinating idea. But Genesis clearly states that the Lord created the heavens and the earth. How ridiculous. Hmm. I think we would be open to it, especially given our predilection for the hedonism studies, right? Especially in a situation where, like, we're talking to someone who is not being accusatory toward us, you know? That's a fascinating idea. Not only that, but it explains the presence of the angels and demons before the creation of the world. Of the five elements, angels are fire and air, and demons water and earth, and the world was aether before the Lord formed it. That's why Satan appeared as a snake to Eve. Snakes can only dwell in deep caves and pools. I never considered it that way before. I might be onto something. 
<laughs> be careful, Voxlav. People have been imprisoned for talking like that. <laughs> Don't be absurd. God created the elements just as much as anything else. I hope this doesn't come across as a threat, but more advice. Voxlav, you gotta be careful. <laughs> People have been imprisoned for talking like that. I am well aware, Master Mahler. Nevertheless, I thank you for your concern. Uh, anyway, I should get back to work. Until later, Voxlav. Okay, let's head on out. Let's see. Over here, a meadow. Should we check the waterfall? Fuck yes, we should check the waterfall. Oh! Oh, it's, it's old Otto! Okay. Rotten and full of bugs. I wonder Otto hasn't split it up. Hey, old Otto. Good to see you, Andreas. Thanks, old Otto. What's this? The waterfall must flow down from the snow melt in the mountains above the abbey. Oh. Even in the rain, it looks gorgeous. The soil in these woods is rich and moist. It would be an excellent place to forage for mushrooms once I have some free time. Ah. Oh. Old salt mine? What? Holy shit! Tassing's old salt mine. How the town made money before the Imperial, Imperial Road opened up. Imperial Road? Also called the Via Imperi. The Imperial Road links Venice in the south with Stettin on the Baltic Sea in the north. It passes through Verona, Innsbruck, Nuremberg, and many other cities along the way. It also brings thousands of travelers to Tassing and Kearsaw every year. Oh. All roads lead to... Right. Huh. Well, this looks incredibly auspicious over here. I'm sure it will come up later. Alright. Let's head on out. There we go. Should we check out the shrine? Oh, fuck. Oh my god, it looks amazing! Oh. A carving of Saint Satya. It looks quite old. You don't think it's got, like, a hidden doorway or whatever, huh? Anywhere else I can go here? No. At least not yet. Okay, let's go to the meadow. What's up, Till? Cool sheep you got. Hello there, Master Muller. Hello, Till. Bumped into any ghosts lately? <laughs> <laughs> no, not since we last spoke. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, not since we last spoke. Good, good. Ellipses. Uh, have you ever seen a nicer view? Don't get sights like this in the cities I expect. I can't say that Nuremberg has many Roman ruins, no. I could do without the mud on my shoes, but the aqueduct does make a nice silhouette. Let's go with this. I could do without the mud on my shoes, but the aqueduct does make a nice silhouette. Oh, yes. The old Roman ruins. Tassing is full of them. Quite the marvels they are. I don't pay much much mind to the writing on them, as I can't read Latin myself. But you might enjoy giving them a look. If you do, you'll have to tell me if they match the old legends I read about. What sort of old legends? I didn't know you could read. I didn't know you could read. Only German, I'm afraid. I never had the skill to learn anything else. Still, Father Matthias was always kind enough to lend me a book now and then. Oh, uh, yeah. Old man Father Matthias. Hmm. I think I read through half the Abbey's library before Father Gerno became abbot. Wow, holy shit. That's incredible. And then Father Gerno comes along and is like, mm, maybe no one else can read. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, look. Wow, look, it updated. Now we think, we're like, holy shit, this guy's smart as fuck. <laughs> 
the fucking typeface font and everything, like, it goes very fancy schmancy. I love that. Father Gerno won't let you read books anymore? Father Gerno is an ass. I'm not surprised he won't let you borrow the Abbey's books. Craftsman? Books are fragile things. It makes sense that Father Gerno would want to prevent them from wearing down. Fuck that. I don't know how he feels about Father Gerno entirely. So let's go a little bit neutral so we don't play our hand here and reveal that we are also kind of not big on Father Gerno as well. Gerno won't let you read books anymore? Oh no, it's not that he won't let me read books, just not any that he doesn't seem deem appropriate. He and Father Thomas are stricter than I'd like about the matter, but it can't be helped. Father Thomas, right, of course, with his strange hat. Still, the accounts of the Romans in Tassing are my favorite. That old book talked about how the Roman knight Caius Metellus defeated the, uh, right, right, the I think it was. Heavy snowfall had him caught in this very valley. Barbarians on all sides. When Mars sent a wolf to the night. Mars, the Roman god of war and agriculture. Mars represented civilization and peace through military might. Instead of killing the beast, Caius followed it into a magical spring with trees covered in all sorts of fruit. Many... Er, what? Mars provided the wolf and the spring. And Caius Metellus founded Tassing after defeating the barbarians to honor Mars. That's where all this came from. That sounds like a lot... That's... That sounds a lot like the story Brother Matthew told me about St. Moritz. Without the Roman gods, of course. I'm surprised that Kearsaw has any record of Tassing before St. Moritz arrived. A good story, if nothing else. Huh. Interesting. That sounds a lot like the story Brother Matthew told me about St. Moritz. Without the Roman gods, of course. I hadn't thought of that. Both were snowed into this valley, weren't they? And saved near a spring. I wonder if it's the same story. Oh, I don't know about all that, Master Baller. A lot of stories get mixed up over the years. It might be all f fubble, but I oh, It might be all fable, but I enjoy the story all the same. It's nice to feel you're connected to those who come before you, came before you, even if it's only by the land you live on. Wise words. I feel the same. I'd rather look forward to new opportunities, but I do see the value in looking back. Huh. I'd rather look forward to new opportunities, but I do see the value in looking back. To each his own, I suppose. It's been good chatting with you, Master Mauler, but I'd better get back to work. You let me know if you find any particularly good books in that library. <laughs> All right. I will. Until later, Till. Dude, Till is fucking A-OK. -okay. I feel like if, uh... If push ever came to shove... And, like, shit got real bad or whatever... Oh, fuck, Mark! <laughs> Let me just finish this thought real quick because I think something's about to pop off. But... If ever needed to be... I would love to either be like a sheep farmer or a baker, like a bread baker or something like that. And we just met both of them here recently, right? But if ever I need to, like, I don't know, if I ever had to live in like a commune or something and like do my part to keep everybody alive or whatever, that's probably what I would do. <laughs> I would do, I would either like get wool and stuff for clothes or fucking uh, bake breads. Seems like a good time. Okay. Oh. Hey, Martin! Get a friendly greeting from Martin. Okay. Oh. 
reactivity. Holy shit, it's telling us... We would have gotten a friendly greeting here, I think. This is what it's telling us. I think it's saying, you could get a friendly greeting from Martin, but we were not friendly to Martin. So, these are the reasons why, and this gauge is not filled up. Right? Told Martin to help his family. Martin ended the conversation mad at you. Right. Failure. Oh, you roll! Oh, is it like a roll or whatever? Huh. I wonder how it works. Eat shit, Andreas! Achoo! <laughs> okay. Ellipses. I should get to the scriptorium. Garno will want to give me an earful if I'm late again. Alright. The figures in this shrine to St. Christopher are quite nice. Something's up! Huh. Interesting. Okay. My Klaus! Or me Klaus. God be with you, Andreas. Is God with us? Look at all this rain. Are you still preparing to leave? Even with this weather? Are you still preparing to leave even with the weather? The weather is unfortunate. But the Baron's wife, Lady Salomia, will be arriving today. Oh. Okay. My lord intends to depart as soon as she arrives. How long have they been married? Seven years now. She's a fine woman. A true lady. I was hoping to bid farewell to the Baron before he leaves. I'm sure he would appreciate that. He spoke highly of you before he went to bed. He was disappointed that you didn't debate him at supper, but he understands that you didn't want to anger the abbot. Right. I still have to work here for the next month or two. He should have known that Luther's positions against the church would have been a wel wouldn't have been a welcome topic. It's the abbot's table, the abbot's rules. Right. I still have to work here for the next month or two. Of course. No need to make things more difficult for yourself. Oh. What's this then? Is there any chance I could redeem myself in the Baron's eyes? Complained about being late to the Abbey. Expressed fascination at Luther's ideas. Cautioned Lorenz to be discreet about occultism. Addressed the Baron respectfully. Tried to turn down the Baron's supper invitation. Didn't debate Lorenz at dinner. Oh, fuck. Okay. So do I click on this? How do we activate this, I wonder? I notice my cursor changing colors every now and then. Oh fuck, I failed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps not on this occasion. I believe you may have offended the Baron in some other way as well. Some way? Or some ways. I would not fret too much about it, Master Mahler. He is a forgiving man. Where has your master gone then? If he's a forgiving man, why did he get into a fight then? Like a physical confrontation with someone like a while back. Allegedly. He went for a walk in the early morning. He didn't say when he'd be back. I hope he, I hope he returns soon. The rain is turning everything to mud. Seems odd given the weather. Seems odd given the weather. Not odd for him. My lord enjoys hiking in all sorts of weather. A little rain never bothered him. I can sympathize. We Swabians enjoy a good walk through nature, even in such conditions. The Baron seems to be quite an unusual man in many ways. Well, I apologize for taking up so much of your time. Good luck, good speed, and I hope you keep you can keep dry. Let's comment on his unusual nature. Ah, it may be so. I only know him as my lord for these past sev for these last seven years. That reminds me. Did you see a short, surely, surly looking young man in a hat on your way up this morning? Ah, that can only be Martin Bauer. Lie, I didn't, I'm sorry. That can only be Martin Bauer. He ran past me in the meadow as I was walking up the hill. He was in quite a hurry. 
Ah, that would explain my lord's missing rings. What rings are these? One gold, one silver, a handful of golden, and a book the Baron was planning to give to the Abbey. Oh, fuck. A book? Historia Tesse? I believe so, yes. I went to pack the Baron's things, and they were missing. The boy is an elf thief. It wouldn't surprise me if he's responsible for the missing rings. Why do you think Martin stole the rings? I mean, I didn't see him with a book. I mean, maybe he did. But also with a known thief in town, that's the perfect alibi for someone else to seize, you know? The blame can shift more easily onto, like, the more obvious choice. Why do you think Martin stole the rings? Yesterday I caught the boy with the hat. Martin, I suppose, peering in through the windows. I could have admi admonished him at the time, but, well, he seemed harmless. That's a shame. I hope the Baron won't be too put out. My lord is a man of some means. He won't miss the gold or the rings. I do think he will be upset about the book. He was quite excited for the abbot to see it. In any case, I must finish preparing the horses. It was good talking to you, Andreas. Of course. I hope this rain lets up for you soon. God willing. Until next time. Until then. Guest house? Hmm. Interesting. What if... Okay. Here's a, here's a good point. What if Martin did steal the rings, right? But why would Martin steal the book? Why would Martin give a shit about the book? What if someone saw Martin steal the rings and thought, Okay, I'll just steal the fucking book too. And then someone will think that Martin also stole the book. What if there was a double thievery? Hmm. Over here. Nope, Abbott's house is locked up. Let's head up and over. Hang on, we can't like... Just out of curiosity, I couldn't have gone back into the house and given the, the tax money to everybody, right? Hang on. Let's find out real quick. We'll go speed mode back to the Gertners. I know it's kind of a long way, but it just got me thinking, like, I never tried to re-enter the house after we left. And I would really like to have them, like, on our good side, you know? Especially given all the shit that we just saw of, like, reactivity playing a role. With regards to, like, how you've treated people and everything. And that causing some sort of a role. Yeah, look, I can go back in. Maybe I can give them the money. Oh, fuck, yeah. Holy shit, what a great fucking idea. Oh my gosh, I think I just saved my own ass. Alright, Ursula. Andrea! <laughs> okay. Hey, you two. Clara? Hello, Andreas. Hello, Clara. I have something for you. Oh? This should be enough to pay my rent, and the tax you owe the Abbey. Andreas, this is far more than your rent payment. We can't accept this. Please, Clara, it's the least I can do. You and Peter have been such gracious hosts. Consider the rest a gift, then, in addition to my rent. I insist. It's enough to pay back the Abbot, yes? Please, Clara, it's the least I can do. You and Peter have been such gracious hosts. But Andreas... How bid you even... How bid you even find so much coin? Are you sure you'll have enough to spare for yourself? Don't worry about me, Clara. I'll be fine. I convinced Brother Matthew to pay me a bit early. I wanted to be sure you could pay your taxes in time. Let's say that. God bless you a thousand times, Andreas. You don't know what this means to us. I'm happy to help, Clara. It's the Christian thing to do. It's probably best not to mention it. Oh, yeah, because they may not have given it to me if they knew what it was for.
Oh, fuck. Yeah, because if she says, yeah, Andreas helped out for me to pay. Because remember, I intentionally didn't want Matthew to know what it was for. Right? That it was for them. I wanted him to be like, oh, yeah. I was thinking of helping them out or whatever. It's probably best not to mention it. Of course, I won't mention it to anyone. Still, thank you. I'll let you move on with your day. God bless you. Until later. Ah, paid in full. Neat. Ava. Hello, Andreas. Anything else, Clara? Hello, Andreas. Okay, let's head on out. Man, thank goodness I thought of that. It was only by way of seeing those two reactivities. I was like, man, shit, no one's on our side. And then I started, like, mentally taking account of, like, who had I been nice to? It was like, oh, fuck. I should give her the fucking big time money. Right? All right, let's head over here. I wonder how it would play if you'd, like, befriended Lawrence, Lawrence or um, even Martin. That's so fascinating. I would have never even expected that you could get on the good side of Martin. Okay. Over here. Good. Alright. Upper Abbey. There we go. Alright, should we check the convent garden? May as well. We're doing the rounds for the day. What's this? Same as always. Fever few. It always smells so fresh. Wise to have some in the garden. Priorus's house. Ah. Uh. Hey, Cecilia. God bless you, Andreas. God bless you, Mother Cecilia. Is there something I can help you with? No, my apologies. Until later. Okay, let's go back. How about over here? The convent loquarium. Oh. Have we looked at this? Oh yeah, Hildegard. Mother Cecilia's favorite. The doors into the convent are locked to outside outsiders. Men, at least. Men, at least. Okay. Anything in here? Sister Gertrude drying the herbs. Let's pet the cat. There you go. Poor thing. All right. And then back to the upper abbey. And let's check in the shrine. There we go. Ooh. Nothing really of interest here. All right. Upper Abbey. I guess we'll go directly into the church. All right. Hey, our singing friend is not here. Okay. With the cloister? Anyone or anything? No. The lavatorium. Is that why sometimes we call, like, a kitchen or a bathroom sink a lavatory? It's, like, short for lavatorium or whatever? Huh. Okay. Over this way. Church. Dormitory. Should we just go straight for the... Oh, look, there's a bucket here. Kitchen and cellar. Maybe we'll check the kitchen. Our friend who's normally here? Here? No. There's a cellar. Huh. Nobody around. Okay. Let's head on back. Refectory? Oh, you know what? I bet if there's a fucking body around in here... That's where everybody's at. 
if tragedy has truly struck. Let's go back to the cloister and head for the... Well, no. Go to the animal pens. Right? And then we can go to the cemetery, and that'll take us over to... where we need to be. Old Bailey, I think. There we are. Scriptorium. Well, let's go in through this door. Brace for impact. No? Okay. Oh, this is wonderful. The rest of the abbey is soaked, and there's not a drop of rain in here. Good thing the abbot had Otto replace the roof up to the scriptorium and library last month. With the calefactory next door, we can stay warm while everyone else is cold and wet. Calefactory. A communal warming room in monasteries. Calefactories are usually attached to the cloister, but in Kearsaw, it is part of the old abbey. Therefore, connected to the old scriptorium. It keeps the monks warm and the library dry. Huh. Instead of bragging about our good fortune, you should think upon your brothers and sisters and pray for their health and safety. The abbot's foresight saved a lot of our work and protected what's in the library. The town hasn't fared well. As well. I'm sure they'll be fine. More importantly, if they're not, I don't care. Brother Guy, your heart is harder than the stone of this floor. Huh. We have the grumpy old monk, but where's the nice one? Brother Piero? Haven't you seen him yet today? I did. Before Brother Guy arrived. Brother Piero left to speak to the abbot some time ago. <laughs> what? Why is Matthew ringing the bell? It can't be... Can you say this? Terse already. I pray it stopped soon. Such a cacophony is an assault on my frail ears. It's not stopping. I suppose this means we're being summoned to the chapter house. <gasps> this is it! Murder time! Murder time! God, give me the strength to endure the rain. Oh my god, you don't think Piero is the first victim? Not old man Piero! It's 50 feet, old man. You'll live. God, give me the strength to endure this man. <laughs> Dude, the two old dudes that we work with fucking rock in two different ways. <laughs> Guy sucks ass. <laughs> it's still not stopping. What's going on? This can't all be because of the storm. I should see what's the matter. Ooh, we actually have control. Alright, you know what? I hate to do it. But who knows how long we'll be stuck in conversation. I'm sure this is going to be it. Let's end it right here and when next we come back. I think we're about to see what the fuck is up. Until next time, please take care of each other.